Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit visualize your data from the project create reports and dashboards for sales and marketing managers. This is the last unit of uh, this project. So here, as the name suggests, visualize your data. So we will basically working on, mostly we'll be working on the uh, charts and visualizing of all our reports that we had created. Uh, in the previous, all of the previous units. So here we are going to add a report charts into our a report as well. How we can add that we'll see in a while. And then in the first unit, we had created dashboard folder, but we hadn't added any components into that. So we are going to add lots of, uh, uh, lots of reports into our dashboard folder that we had created in the first unit. So let's quickly launch our trailhead playground and go to reports tab over here. Here we have to select the report sales rep win rate. Here we are going to add a chart into our report. So how we can do that over here, once it is loaded, you will find add chart button over here. Click on this option. And here it will give out the chart, but we have to make some certain changes into this. So click on this gear like icon, open this up and select the com column type of uh, display that we have to. So this will change into column. And the next is we have to give the chart title. So I will be copying the chart title from here, which is sales rep win rates. I will copy this and the Y axis dropdown has to be set to win rate. So let's quickly change the settings. So chart title, I will paste this over here and the Y axis has to be changed to win rate. So this, as you see, uh, opportunity owner, X axis is specified by opportunity owner. As we have only one owner in our org, which is uh, in my case is trailhead explanation. So it is showing only one bar over here. And uh, the win rate is as per our challenge is 100% as per our requirement. So it is so showing 100% over here. Uh, so we have to close this and simply click on save click on save and this will save this report with this chart that we had added. That's all we had to do for the addition of a chart into our report. Now, next we have to work with the dashboard. So let's quickly open up our dashboard folder and create a dashboard by the name global sales dashboard. So I will copy this name from here and I will go back to my sales app here, click on this dashboard. Uh, tab just beside the report one and going to all folders, select this all folder and select global sales dashboard. Here we are going to create a new dashboard, click on new dashboard button and paste this name that we had uh, copied from the challenge. Let it load first. Yeah, name I'm going to paste it over here. For description, let's check if there is any given. Uh, so there is no description uh, precisely given over here. So I will be, uh, so there is no description. Uh, we have to make sure that the folder is global sales da uh, dashboard. So let's change the folder to from private to global sales dashboard and click on select a folder. Click on create and this will create a layout where we can add multiple components, uh, basically our reports into this dashboard. So let's quickly go through one by one what all reports and what all changes that we have to consider while adding uh, our reports. So first of all, we had to add opportunity by rep report and we have to select the vertical bar chart. So let's quickly go here, click on this plus component icon button and select the opportunities by rep report over here and click on select. Here, the type of display that we are going to use is vertical bar chart as specified uh, over here, vertical bar chart. And uh, we have to ensure that Y axis is set to record count and show value checkbox is selected. So let's go back here. So Y axis has to be record count and show values has uh, is selected. We have to make sure this as well. Now, next up, we have to give the title sales pipeline and the subtitle as number of open opportunities. So we'll be doing that one by one. So let's scroll down to the bottom and the uh, title has to be changed to this. Paste this over here and I will copy the subtitle as well from here. Paste this in the subtitle text area.
Next, we have to simply click on add and save it. So let's quickly click on this add button over here and then click on save button. So this will uh, save this recently added uh, report or the component that we had added. Now, uh, next we have to add another report uh, opportunity by rep metric component. So we'll be doing that by using the same report, which is opportunity by rep, but with different uh, settings that has been mentioned over here. So let's quickly add another component and select the same report, which is opportunities by rep. Here we have to select the metric uh, as the display. So I will do that here. Select the metric, which is one to three in the form of one to three. You have to select this. Next, we have to uh, make sure that measure is set to sum of amount and display unit is set to shorten number. So let's quickly check that whether we have to change it. So measure is sum of amount and display unit is already shortened amount. That is, uh, we do not have to change anything over there. Leave the segment ranges set as it is. So we do not have to change furthermore, but we have to change the title and the photo value. So scroll down towards the bottom and change the title with the one which we had copied. And the photo also, we have to change value of open opts in sales pipeline. I will copy this and paste it in the photo text area. Click on add, this will add another component or the report into our dashboard. Once that is done, we have to save it again. And we have to also drag this metric component to the right of ops by rep vertical bar chart. So we have to drag this, hold and drag it next to the right of this uh, first component that we had added. Click on save and this will also save these, uh, this component. Now, next we have to add a sales rep win uh, rates in the form of table component. So I will be selecting sales rep win rate and the uh, lightning table will be the display uh, as menu that I'm going to select. So let's quickly do that. Click on add component over here and select the sales rep win rate report. Click on select. Now here we have to select the display as uh, which will be lightning table, select this and this will change it into the table format. Now we have to add certain columns. Let's quickly uh, take out the columns that we have to add. Uh, so in the column section, we have to click the following columns to remove them from the col component. I'm sorry, we do not have to add, but to, we have to remove. Account name stage and expect, expected revenue are the columns that we have to remove. And opportunity name and amount should be the only column that remains there in the table. So let's just remove uh, opportunity name will be there and amount. Other than that, stage will be removed, expected revenue and account name has to be removed. So only opportunity name and amount will be there. That's all, uh, copy this title from here, opportunities one and paste it in the name text area, title text area. So I will remove this and paste it over here. Next thing we have to uh, just simply click on add and drag opportunity one a table to the right of total open opportunity metric. So this will create the third dashboard. So simply click on add and hold and drag it to the right of our uh, metric dashboard. So this has been added over here. Click on save. This will uh, save the setting that we had just updated. Now, the next one is we have to again use a sales rep win rates uh, gaze component. Over here, we are going to uh, again use the same report and we will be using gaze component. So let's quickly go back here and click on add component again, select the report sales uh, rep win rate and click on select. Over here, we have to change it to gaze one. So this is uh, the gaze chart that we have to select and this will change the display as a menu. Now, next is we have to uh, change the measure to win rate. And uh, I will copy this title, change the measure to win rate, scroll down. Uh, instead of sum of amount, it has to be win rate. And for the title, I will be pasting the one which I had copied, removing the previous one. I have to change the footer as well, ratio to one to close apps and paste it here in the 
footer area. That's all we have to do. Click on add button again, and this has to be added next to uh, uh, drag the complement rate gaze to the right of opportunity one component to the to create the fourth dashboard. So we have to just drag it to the third dashboard that we had created. So it will be dragged up here. So this has been fitted over uh, next to opportunity one to, uh, dashboard. Uh, then we have next is that's all. Uh, these are all are the components that we had uh, to add into this dashboard. So it will some, look something like this. And this is the same that our dashboard looks like. Click on save. And then once it is saved, click on done button. This will create uh, the final dashboard uh, required for this challenge. Now, th the final step that we had to do over here is finally scroll down and click on verify step to earn 100 points. Whether we have made all the required changes that were supposed to complete this unit. And hopefully we should be able to complete this unit as well as this module altogether. So let's wait for the output. There you go, this unit as well as this module has been completed. See you in the next video with another such unit and module. Till then, take care and thank you.